Hello everyone, and thanks for your interest in our work. Here, we analyze whether the results of different predictive models for antimicrobial peptides could be biased towards certain secondary structures. Even when the structural information is not explicitly used during the training of these models. The first antimicrobial peptides characterized fold into a alpha-helical structure, which led to the erroneous idea for many years that all antimicrobial peptides should fall in this type of secondary structure, which is not the case. In addition to this historical bias, some economic and practical advantages of helical peptides have meant that the search for these peptides is limited only to those that form alpha-helical structures. Few antimicrobial peptides have an experimentally characterized structure, which makes it difficult to assess this problem. However, we hypothesize by this bias that most of the antimicrobial peptides known today have a tendency to fold into helical structure. This could impair the predictions of peptides of other structures like beta sheets or coils, and limiting the discovery of antimicrobial peptides and increasing the number of incorrectly classified sequences. To tackle this problem, we first carry out a benchmarking of four different peptide structure prediction methods, PEP2D, GPRED, FIRE, and AlphaFold, to choose the best one that would allow us to structurally characterize GRAMPA, one of the most robust repositories of antimicrobial peptide sequences in existence. We found out that both PEP2D and AlphaFold2 have very similar results to the experimental reference, but we decided to use PEP2D because it was easier to use in larger datasets. Then, we made a negative dataset called non-grampa from peptide sequence from Uniprod without antimicrobial activity. We used PEP2D to make the secondary structure prediction of the sequences from both grampa and non-grampa and classified it by the tendency to fold into different secondary structures. With these sequences and their structural classification, we evaluated the performance of 13 predictive models based on artificial intelligence, some from machine learning and some based on deep learning. Although the performance to correctly classify antimicrobial peptides does not appear to be affected by the secondary structure of the input peptide, we observe a large number of false positive in the classified non-grampa sequences with beta sheet like structures. We made the secondary structure prediction and classification of the training data of two of the models previously evaluated. And we note that the lack of sequences with beta sheet like structure in these, in these sequences could cause biased predictions, affecting their performance and aumenting the number of false positives. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you physically but Dr. Fabian Plisson will be there to answer all your questions. Thank you.